Oregon may have scored first, but Wanake played 77 minutes of stifling defense, and that's why the Warriors are going back to state for the first time since 2008. Oregon didn't waste any time as Jen Bryan makes an excellent pass up field for McKenna Fanning, who bends it like Beckham to give the Panthers the 1 0 lead at the 233 mark. Fanning got so excited that she even lost her balance. And despite not having their best offensive weapon in Emily Moulet, who was out with a kneecap injury, Wanaki answered right back four minutes and 49 seconds later. Maddie Shaw found Macy Maltbesh, who put in the header to tie up the game. Oregon wishes they had this one back. Wanaki's Grace Luan gets it close to the net, and Jess Jacobs is trying to make a play, but her left ankle puts just enough English on the ball, and it goes in to give Wanaki a 2 1 lead. And that's all Olivia Meekum needed. She had seven saves and will be tough to score on next week in Milwaukee. But here was arguably the play of the game. With just over eight minutes left, McKenna Fanning gets a great pass from Brenda Peterson. But absolutely out of nowhere comes a streaking Jada Dane who breaks up the play to preserve the sectional win. The Wanake girls soccer program hasn't lost a conference game in 14 years. A state title is the only thing this great program hasn't achieved. We do have uh, Jada Dane, which allows us to play with three, four, three defenders, which allows us to play with three forwards. You know, most people play 4-4-2. Four, four, we play 3-4-3, three, three. so we put three forwards in. Uh, not many, very many um, uh, girls' teams are used to having three forwards coming at them, you know, and pressuring the ball. I just think this is a great opportunity for us to get out and show everyone what we really can do. I mean, especially because everyone had it in for us, thinking we lost 12 seniors that we wouldn't be able to do anything else, but it feels good to prove them wrong. <laughs> Thanks to the ball hawking presence by sophomore defenseman Jada Dane and the brick wall put up by junior goalkeeper Olivia Meekum, the Warriors might be the best D2 team still standing. For Madison.com, I'm Corey Jennerjohn.